Girls basketball is excitingly new. It offers one of the rare opportunities left to be there at the very beginning. Some people think girls basketball is a long shot. We feel it can't miss. To appreciate where women's basketball is now, we have to look back in time. A time where the possibilities were endless, but the opportunities seldom. In the late 60s, Warriors owner Franklin Muley created a four-team women's basketball league, one of the first of its kind, and called it the Warrior Girls. In the 1969 NBA draft, Muley chose 18-year-old Denise Long in the 13th round. Take a look at this girl with the red hairband in action and you'll see why. She's the only girl ever drafted by a professional basketball team when the Warriors selected her at this year's draft meeting in New York. Being in the spotlight is nothing new for this 18-year-old girl from Witten, Iowa, who once scored 111 points in a single game. Um, the superintendent came out and said, well, you've been drafted by the Warriors. And I said, um, you mean like the Army? And he said, no, the NBA basketball team. And the first thing I said was, does that mean I have to go? And because of that, Johnny Carson wanted me on The Tonight Show and today's show with Hugh Downs and Joe Gargiola. However, NBA Commissioner Walter Kennedy voided the pick, calling it a publicity stunt. It was definitely out of the ordinary. <laughs> that was history itself. Franklin Muley was the trailblazer. He wanted a woman's team. He felt that he could bring her to California, and that California at that time was ready for women basketball. It took several decades for women's basketball to achieve a new level of excellence. In the 1996 Olympics, the United States women's basketball team soared and won gold for the first time in history. We all were very committed and it was, it was thrilling to be in Atlanta, play in front of a huge crowd and to get a gold medal and to play so well in the championship game. The 1996 games in Atlanta turned out to be truly the Women's Olympics for the American team. It really created the foundation for launching the WNBA a year later. I do remember one of the first games I ever went to at Madison Square Garden. There was a young boy, probably 10 years old, uh, who was outfitted in his Rebecca Lobo jersey, standing courtside, hoping to get an autograph from his greatest sports hero, Rebecca Lobo. That moment for me has really kind of described what the WNBA brought to the sports world and what it brought to our country. The WNBA gave opportunities to female basketball players that for years were waiting for this opportunity. The league also served as a form of encouragement for young girls and boys to play, bringing a sense of equality. Women's sports are still new, and so you're continuing to you know, gain respect and, and gain equality. And I think it happens everywhere. It happens in every work environment. We've made progress, but there still needs to be an awareness. It's a role of adversity, but it's also a, a role of opportunity. Um, I think that as women, we just, just have that strength to get through. Look at adversity in the eye and say, okay, that's my next opportunity and just keep moving on. It is so important now for women to be empowered, to believe in themselves and never give up. The strength that women have is, is amazing. And to see how basketball has, has grown and how using sports as a way to just impact the whole world and to see women do it in great fashion is it's a beautiful thing to watch and it's a beautiful thing to have been a part of.